Hello and welcome to this video. So in this video we'll be talking about homogeneous systems of equations. So this will be a, this will be a fairly short video about homogeneous systems of equations. So let's get right to it. So what is a homogeneous system of equations? This is just a system, uh, just a system of equations in which the right hand side of the equations is all zeros. So namely, what I'm saying is the following. So if I give you a system of equations, so e11 x1 plus e12 x2, and then we keep adding terms all the way to e1m xm is equal to zero. All right, so as you can see, if you go all the way to xm, the right hand side is zero. So let's just do this a few more times just to get a sense of what's going on. So e21 plus e22 x2 plus dot 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 plus e2m xm is equal to zero. Okay, and we would do this a few more times. So if you go down all the way to a x n1 x1 plus a n2 x2 plus dot 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 plus a n m xm equal to zero. So as you can see, we have n equations and m unknowns. So this will essentially be our system of equations that we're working with. And as you can see, the right-hand side is all zeros. Okay, so why is this useful? So let's talk about some properties. So the thing with this homogeneous system of equations is that this is always consistent. So always consistent and the reason is that because the right hands are zero if you have a if you put this in a matrix and you reduce it even if you get zero and zero right here well that's fine if you get one and zero that's okay too that just means you have a unique solution this will never be undefined so this is always consistent okay so because this is always consistent, there will always be a unique solution or there will be a infinitely many solutions. So, let's just kind of summarize this. So, never inconsistent. Like so. So, in a system of equations, in a homogeneous system of equations, there will always be one kind of situation. So either you'll have to you'll have either one of these cases. So either you'll have x1, x2, x3, etc., all the way to xm. Either those will all be equal to zero. So this will be the trivial solution. So that'll be one possibility, or the other cases, or the other cases that you'll have infinitely many solutions. So those are the only cases you can kind of get in a homogeneous system of equations. So either you'll only have the trivial solution in which x one, x two, x three, etc., are all zero, or you'll have infinitely many solutions in which there's at least one free variable. We can kind of summarize this using the very is using the following very simple kind of situation. So if n is bigger than m, then the system has infinitely many solutions so what is what is n and m well i'm basically saying that there is more unknowns than equations so more unknowns than equations okay so let's do a very quick example on this so there is not really too much to talk about here so this is going to be 2 times x1 plus 2 times x2 minus x3 plus x5 is equal to 0. 
The next one is minus x1 minus x2 plus 2x3 minus 3 times x4 plus x5 is equal to 0. The next one is x1 plus x2 minus 2 times x3 minus x5 is equal to 0. And then x3 plus x4 plus x5 is equal to 0. So if you put this in a matrix, we'll get the following. So we're going to get 2, negative 1, 1, and 0. Let's see, then we'll get 2, negative 1, 1, and 0. Then we'll get negative 1, 2, negative 2, and 1. And then let's see, 0, negative 3, 0, and 1. And then 1, 1, negative 1, and 1. And then the right side will get 0, 0, 0, and 0. Okay, I'll skip the rule reduction for this, but if you go ahead and reduce this, you'll get the following system of equations, or following reduced Wachlan form. So you'll get 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Let me just just piece this out a little bit to make it consistent. Okay. Okay, this one will be 0, 0, 1, 0, and then 1, 1, 0, 0. And of course, the right hand side is not going to change. That's still going to be 0, 0, 0, and 0. So that will be our system of equations after we reduce it. So what is this saying? Well, this is going to be a free variable. So let's call this s. And let's call this our other free variable, t. Because and this is definitely a free variable, free variable because there is no leading one here in which all the other entries are 0. So that, that does make sense. So let's keep going. So this is saying x1 plus x2 plus x5 is equal to 0. x3 plus x5 is equal to 0. x4 is equal to 0. x2 equals s. x5 is equal to t. Okay, so if you go ahead and simplify this, you'll get the following. So we'll get x1 equals minus s minus t x2 is equal to s, x3 equals minus t, x4 equals 0, and then x5 is equal to t. Okay, so this is basically how you solve the system of equations. So if I went ahead and put this in vector form, well, we would get that x, or the solution, is equal to s times negative 1, 1, 0, 0, and 0, plus t times negative 1, 0, negative 1, 0, and 1. And that would be our final solution to this particular system of equations. And as you can see, we have infinitely many solutions, which makes sense because of, of what we just talked about here. We have more unknowns than equations here. We have five unknowns and four equations, so that makes sense. And there was, that is that. So hopefully that makes sense. So with that being said, if you have any questions about the idea of a homogeneous system of equations or this particular example, let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer. But otherwise, if this video helped you, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll really appreciate it. Thank you all so much and have a great day.